you know that today is National Drink Wine Day? And what better way to celebrate than to toast creativity? How do we do that? We paint with a twist. And joining us from Painting with a Twist this morning is Jennifer Savoy Galan. She's a local studio owner. And Raul Santiago is the lead artist. <laughs> Good morning, my friend. Morning. You come with us. wine, you come with paint. Yes. We are here to paint with a twist. Yes. yes. I want to start first and ask you how this got started because it's a really cool story behind painting with a twist. Jennifer. Yeah, you know, um, two ladies got together right after Katrina yeah. um, in 2005 in New Orleans because that's where the company is founded. Right. And, you know, they just wanted to make something good out of all the devastation and bad. And they got together, um, they got a little wine, and they got some canvases and started painting with it. Right, exactly. And they got their friends together just in the back of their house, and it just evolved. And, like, all their friends every week were asking, can we come back over? Can we come and paint? So then they opened their own studio. And from there, it has grown to over 250 franchises. I, and I love that because yeah. people have people have jumped on board with the concept. And because of that, now painting with a twist has become therapeutic. It's where yes. people have their birthday parties, and it's right. where women get together and have a good time. Raul, you enjoy painting with a twist? Oh, I love it. You I love, love it? it? What does yeah. it do for you? Um, it's really rewarding at the end of the class. Um, basically, I get to see everybody's unique masterpieces. And, and they're all beautiful. You want to see You want to see my unique masterpieces? Absolutely. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Okay, Jennifer, let's come on over because awesome. I want people to understand what happens when you sign up or you take part in a painting with a twist class. You bring friends, you invite people, and you start painting, right? Right. And what's really important, oh, we need the wine. That's we most important. <laughs> I was going to say, it is National Drink yes, Wine Day. There you go. We'll say cheers to cheers. creativity, yeah, Raul, exactly. from cheers. a cheers. From <laughs> it's Something about wine, just sipping a little bit, sort of inspires you, right? Okay. It does. Mm -hmm. And you know what's great about painting with a twist is anyone can do it. You okay. don't have to have any artistic ability at all. And so Raul is going to start us off all right. and walk us through. Okay, Raul, so painting. you start us off. What do we need to do first? Well, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our brush nice and moist because it's a okay. little dry. I always like to start with a nice moistened brush. Okay. Um, then just dab it on those paper towels so you don't have drips everywhere. Okay, <laughs> all right. Now, for the first thing, we've already started a little bit. So for us, we're going to go ahead and start our moon. So I hold it like a pen or a pencil, moon. just okay. like that, just a pen or pencil. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and just pick up some of my white paint. You're I like to dip white? and flip it. Okay. Dip and flip my brush into that white paint. Okay. That's and a, yeah, okay, there's lots of different ways you can throw on a circle on here, but I like to start really small first and kind of do these little C kind of marks. Okay. And then once you get that little kind of started going there, a little moon, you can start to kind of build it out and get bigger. Okay. I feel like I should have started my moon over further to the right. You can oh, put your moon wherever perfect. you want. They're all unique masterpieces. Um, you can make a big moon, a little moon. Doesn't it need to look exactly like mine because you're mm -hmm. unique, right? right? What is Absolutely. it about painting, you think, Jennifer, that sort of gives people a feeling of oneness with the other? Well, I think, personally, whenever you paint, you can't think of anything else. And that's actually therapeutic. You're only, you know, in our busy world with social media and just lives in general, you're constantly thinking of the next thing. With painting, it forces you to stop and actually live and in the actually moment. Actually live in the moment. Yeah. Okay, all right, Raul, what's next? All right, so after you get that moon in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a little texture in the moon. Okay, now, I, all right. A little texture, it's a little visual texture. Now you could do this a couple ways. You could just take a little bit of black onto your brush. Okay. I'm um, just kind of smush it into your plate a little bit. Okay. And you could do this little pouncy thing. Basically, you can kind of pounce it in there creating little craters okay. or you could actually use your finger um, how I use my finger and now if you just got your nails done I wouldn't suggest to do okay, this okay. Um, but you can just pounce this black paint in with your finger just like how I'm kind of doing okay. and it kind of gives it almost like a little crater effect yeah. In your moon. So if you like finger paint, it's not just I for may kids. Have, I, may, I may have too much crater. <laughs> no. I may have too much crater. No, I'm I'm sure. perfect. Beautiful. This looks like a, a moon from another planet, not even. There you go. There you okay, go. Okay, this is like something else. And you get a little crater work in there for you. Okay. Absolutely. All right, this is good. This is good. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's not much of a crater. I don't know what. This is almost like an eclipse <laughs> of some kind. All right. Okay, Raul. So yeah. you're kind of, Raul, you're really there to kind of lead people through because these paintings, a lot of times people are proud of them. They take them home, they frame them, they give them as gifts. 
there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, to me, I think of these more as tangible memories, if you will. I mean, you come in uh, with your friends and family, and you're creating this moment together. And uh, when you get to leave home, you're actually taking a memory with you, and you get to hang it on the wall. And every time you look at it, you get to think of that fun time you had with your family or friends mm -hmm. or whatnot. Well, I, so. I want you to come over here and look at this disaster. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me walk over there. You come over here and look and see Let's how see. you can rectify this before the end of the show. So what we want to do is we want to continue to co to create, to do something creativity. Absolutely. And on a scale of one to ten, this is what about a two? No, I, I would give it about a seven. <laughs> I about think a you're seven. good. Yeah, and you're still working seven? on it why because you're still progressing. We're still progressing. Yeah, you're still working. And we're yeah. going to do that throughout the show. But I do want to mention that we've got a gift card to give away. It's good for one class to one viewer and one guest. Uh, we're going to give this away to the fifth caller at 946-GSA, 946-4372. And we do want to remind you that Painting with a Twist has six locations. And if you'd like to get a list of those lo locations, go to paintingwithatwist.com. All right, everybody, stay with us. Some planetary realignment. When, when, when we come back, we'll be back. Yeah.